Some of the very first attempts at making a machine that would fly would be something that looks like that on the screen. Looks like a bird. And there's the, the chap there, that's his head, and there's his feet into some stirrups. It's called an ornithopter. You got inside and you had a mechanism so that the stirrups were attached to the wings. And if you pedalled your feet, the wings started going up and down. Then the idea was that maybe if you pedalled fast enough, that the wings would flap and you would lift off the floor. There were many variations on the ornithopter design. None of them worked. On July the 12th, 1910, Charles Rolls, the co-founder of Rolls-Royce, was killed when a plane that he was flying plummeted into the ground at an air display. Together with his close friend, J.T. Seymour Brabazon, Charles Rolls had been a pioneer of flying in Britain. The place that the two men had chosen as a site for their flying experiments was the Isle of Sheppey in Kent. What we're witnessing today is an incredible achievement, and sadly a forgotten incredible achievement. A hundred years ago today, fixed-wing aviation in Britain started. It's so important that these sort of landmarks are actually preserved, because it is the cradle of aviation here in, on the island of Sheppey. It's an amazing day. Everybody in Kent should be very proud of this. This is a national, if not an international, heritage centre.